It's Sunday the 26th of July 2009 and uh, we're just about to embark on an epic pan-European adventure for Falaraki TV. Got the passport. We're here in Bristol, England. It's just gone midnight and by Tuesday at 7pm we've got a ferry here, the other side of Europe in Athens. We've just popped the route in to our sat-nav from Garmin uh, and it's told us it's 2,106 miles away in three days. <laughs> about 600 miles to Munich. It's 10 to 7 in the morning at the moment and the estimated time of arrival, according to Garmin, is 4.39 p.m. this afternoon. Okay, we're 17 hours into our trip. It's 5.45 in the evening, and we're 642 miles away from Bristol. We're only 170 miles away from Munich, and we're hoping that our journey is gonna be cut quite considerably now. And the reason is because we've just entered Germany, and we're on the Autobahn. And the Autobahn has no speed limit. Day two of our trip across Europe. We're 850 miles in and we've just left Munich en route to Austria. We've got a really long day ahead of us today. Um, we've got to go through Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia and tonight we're spending the night in Belgrade. Here. 
so we arrived in Serbia at 3 a.m. this morning. Uh, it's now 5.30 in the afternoon and we're leaving Serbia and we're just entering Macedonia. It's quite exciting this because when you're traveling through Europe, you've got no idea of how much they're going to charge you to go into their country. Now I see places and faces and things you ain't never thought about thinking. If you ain't peeped, then you must be drinking and smoking. Pretending that you're loking, but you're broken. Let me get you open. Now little Timmy got his diploma and little Timmy got life. It's 10 p.m. in the evening on day three. We've gone through the Macedonian border and as predicted, there was another green card that we needed that we didn't have for the car. Now, we've had probably about 380 pounds worth of tolls uh, in the last two days um, driving from the UK over here to Macedonia. So what we're trying to do now is avoid the toll roads and we've bought a map and we're gonna try and find our way um, through Macedonia, um, through the mountains, and then into Greece and drive maybe a little bit of a longer route through Greece. Um, but the only thing that kind of concerns me is it's gone dark. We're going into the mountains, which are just over there, and we don't know where we're going to. So we don't know what the road conditions are going to be like. We don't know if there's any, been any new roads built through the mountains. So we don't know if the sat-nav is going to be up to date with the current roads in the mountains. And we don't know how long it's going to take us to get out the other side. But all we do know is that we've got to get a ferry at 7 o'clock tomorrow night in Athens. And we need to be there by 5. If everybody's a sinner, then everybody can be a winner. No matter your red color, deep down we all brothers. And regardless of the time, somebody up there still love us. I'm a scuffle and struggle with your breathless and weak. I done strive my whole life to make it to the mountain peak. Always keep reaching, sure to grab on the something. I'll be there when you get there, waiting with the sounds. Last night we went through the um, border from Macedonia into Greece. It was really nice to actually arrive in Greece, which is our ultimate destination. And we're now about an hour uh, away from Athens. We've traveled all across Europe from Bristol and we're now here in Piraeus, Athens, where we're catching this ferry to our final destination, which is of course the island of Rhodes. Two thousand one hundred and eighty-six miles later, and after a four and a half day journey across Europe, we finally made it here to the Greek island of Rhodes. This is Falaraki. It's going to be our base and home for the season. And as one journey is finished, another one's about to begin. As we film Falaraki TV.